I'm trying to be serious right now, but hello everyone, this is Trick Up Felicia, and this is day five of my uh, Diaries of a Homeless Girl, and um, of course you all probably know that because I've made about six videos today, I've had a lot to say today, more than usual, but um, I'm sitting in Starbucks trying to let my computer charge because I'm about to take a long hour and 10 minute drive to San Francisco so that I could possibly get some assistance since this county has denied me twice. But anyways, um, I just wanted to uh, kind of talk about something. I have, I know y'all seen me kind of choke up on a couple videos, but for the last couple days, I haven't been able to really cry like my eyes have gotten watery or I would find myself getting teary-eyed or tears coming out, but I can't really cry and I want to cry, but I can't. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I just don't have anything left in me, you know, when you get like that where it's just like, there's nothing left, but um, I, I'm 100% I'm certain that I'm very depressed. But not, I can't cry, you know, like not coming out. I wanted to have a breakdown earlier, but I just was like, what is crying going to do for me? Where is it going to take me? Like, it's not going to take me anywhere. Um, there's just a lot going on. And um, I'm trying to find good in this. I keep having this little... Oh, I don't realize. <laughs> Look like someone just looking right at me. It looks so creepy. <laughs> I can't even get serious. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, anyways, <clears throat> it's been real hard for me. It's been very hard for me. Um, I'm just trying to get through all of this because um, I don't even know what I was just talking about, but it's hard for me to get through this. And I just want to, I really just want to live, you know. Um, of course, some of y'all don't know this but some do um i am a writer i have about 26 movie scripts i've written three novels and two and a half children's books and the reason i say half because i'm in the middle of finishing one up but um so i keep feeling like i have no hope there's nothing out there for me i'm not going to find anything i'm not going to get anywhere i'm just going to be here a year from now still homeless still no one cares still still have nothing but a little bit inside of me keeps giving me this hope. If I can just get one of my movie scripts totally completed, edited, written, copywritten, you know, I think I can do something with that, you know. I think about people like, someone like Tom Perry, who all he had left after living in his car was his plays. And he said he kept getting them out there and, you know, only three and four people show up, then 30, and then, you know, before he knew it, he had these big productions, and so he didn't give up, he kept going, he kept pushing, he kept striving, and look at him now, he's a millionaire, you know, um, and so I keep thinking, I need to do something with my writing, um, I didn't just sit there and write that stuff just because it's a hobby, I wrote it because I wanted to get to where I and my life was in. writing is my passion, it's my therapy, it's my way out of you know, this life that I'm living, because the life I'm living is very terrible, but when I write, it's just like different world, you know, where I can do anything, I can move a mountain, I can get in an airplane and jump out, you know, without any fear, because in real life, everyone knows I'm afraid of heights, in my writing, I can be anything I want to be, a model, you 
you know, I can be a dancer, I can be a singer, you know, I can be anything. And so, I'm, um, I want to do something with my writing. I feel like I have nothing left, I have no hope. You know, maybe just a little, but that little bit of hope is that my scripts, and um, if I can just get them out there, if I can get someone to read them, if I can get someone to believe in me, like I believe in myself, that is that that will get me somewhere. Because in all honesty, I have nothing. I have no home. I have no job. I have no money. I have nothing, and no friends, no family, no support, no calls, no text messages. I don't have anything. And just imagine yourself being in this world where there's, you feel like there's nothing here for you. Like, I wake up every day and say, why am I still here? What is my purpose? What is my plan? What is What do I have to lean on if I have no one or nothing? So I keep thinking I need to do something. So this long ride to San Francisco is all I have left. And I feel I just need to bump into the right person, the right people, and have someone see that there is some greatness in me, even if no one else can see it. I need that one person who can believe in me, and that one person is going to change my life, and I feel it, it's going to come. But I have to put some work in there, so I'm going to do what I have to do, and um, go where I have to go. But... You know, I need something. You know, I, I need something. I keep hiding behind, you know, fear. What if I don't make it? What if people talk about me? What if I get judged? What if I'm just not the look that everyone, you know, that Hollywood needs or that is needed? What if I'm just not there? What if people don't see greatness in me? So I feel like if I give, before I give up on my life, I have to give myself this one shot, and if this doesn't work, I don't have anything left to live for. So I'm hoping that in this, I find some kind of purpose for my life, and um, I hope that someday I will get out of this life and something better will come for me. I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm wishing that something better will come. I just need a little, just a little crack. And through that crack, I can get through. I mean, you know, physically I can't, but, <laughs> but I believe that I will get through. If someone can see me, this greatness that's in me, I'll be okay. So, that's it. I don't know what to say. I hope everyone has a better day than I am. Bye.